So welcome back to Coach's Corner. Uh, when I was uh, shooting that video on um, lag putting, I noticed my, my stroke looked a little inside. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and talk about how we can, you know, make sure that our stroke is correct and what kind of tools you can use in order to, uh, to help work on that. Um, today I brought out a, a pair of um, knitting needles, okay? This is um, about a nine inch knitting needle with some flexible, flexible string, okay? I like to putt from somewhere around 21 feet, seven steps. The reason we practice from seven steps is typically is because uh, it, it's our yardage, it's our yardage you know, proximity to the hole with a wedge in our hand, okay? That's a tour average, it's about 21 feet. So I practice from about seven steps. The idea in, in having, a, uh, having a, uh, a line like this is that it allows us to set the club down and I can look through this string here and I can see the, the line on my putter um, and I, I see the, the line of the string and the line of the putter, okay? And ideally, when you have a stroke like this, now we're on the... Uh, we're on the chipping green here, so the greens are not perfectly smooth as they are over on the putting green. But yeah, I just wanted to you know, do a quick video real quick and, and just kind of look at my stroke and see what was going on because it just felt a little inside. And what we want to do with this is that as we take the club back, that toe, the, the center of my putter should stay on this line. And then as it goes back through, the back of the putter should be on this line. So it's going to go back and through, it's not, I don't want it to come back in here. I want it to go back and through on that line, okay? So with that in mind, I thought I'd pull this out and, and, and do a little work and see. So this is actually six steps. So a six step putt should be about, you know, a six inch takeaway. Again, on, on our greens here, over there, uh, and it's a little bit faster. But for this, for this one, I just wanna take it back and again, I'm really working on just trying to make sure that my putter is going like that. That's really good. Maybe slightly inside, but I want to take it back. I want to look at it. Yes, I like that. And then as it follows through, how's, it, how's the release through? So I can stand, I can be here. It can come back. That looks good. And then through, okay, it was perfectly on line, but maybe just a little bit short because I'm talking and thinking about the stroke as opposed to just feeling that. And again, I want to be able to see this, that it comes back, it looks good there, and then through there, okay? Again, same place, exactly the same stroke, so I need to add, if I was trying to make this, which I do want to do, I'm going to add just a touch more pace to this. Again, I want the putter to come back here and then through, so you can see that it's tracking right on that on that line so you can see when you when we use a training aid like this we want to have see the ball go on this line and then have it draw you know in this case it's going to break right to left so again we're going to add a little bit more pace there and through and again it's just a little bit short but it's cooking in so i left myself about a two inch putt so having a training aid like this will really really help you make sure that our our you know, stroke is online and it's not going out or it's not going in, but it's actually going back and forth. So if you don't have knitting needles and, and some flexible string, I really recommend it. It's a great, great, great tool. Uh, it, it, they roll up really easy, put in your golf bag. And then if you're ever having trouble, pull out your, pull out your uh, knitting needles and, and string and go out in the putting green. I guarantee you it will help you get a better stroke. Until then, have a great day and we'll talk soon. Thanks.